Hey, get ready for lunch and we have three new engines coming your way. We have uh, engines in the North District that you'll be seeing. We have Station 7, Station 8, and Station 10. Get ready, they're coming your way. Just made it today, so we're very excited. They're all lit up and so are we. So a couple of things that, uh, that we wanted to see change was uh, instead of our guys having to climb on to the, to the truck to actually pull like a pre-connect hose, we ended up putting two hose lines here for them to fight fire directly from this front bumper. Um, when, and then for some other hose lines, in case it's a larger, larger fire, we moved them down to this area. Uh, so we've got two more hose lines here. So if we've got a, a large structure and we need multiple sides being hit or multiple entry crews, they'll be able to come here instead. But before the hose lines were coming off of here, which you would have to climb up onto a step. Then when you come off, you're liable to twist an ankle. Uh, you know, back injuries, we're trying to prevent as much as possible. Uh, we opened up the cab uh, where it is a full, full shot from the, the back seat all the way through. Um, you know, the captain who sits in the front with the driver can speak to the firefighter on back who's usually, you know, newer. Um, so that way there's constant communication. You can see, make sure that everybody's paying attention and constantly. And if there's a question, you know, about a tool that might be mounted in here, they can always, that one right there, you know, instead of it being kind of a separation from the front to the back. Um, with this particular manufacturer, um, they finish all their compartments, they do a paint. So a lot of times these compartments are uh, a, just a raw aluminum, which creates aluminum dust. So you, your tools constantly stay almost dirty. Yeah. Um, whereas this one, it's, a, it's almost like a, uh, like a rhino lining coating that, uh, that's uh, warranted and it'll keep that dust down and then they mirror everything. So if you're in here and you're grabbing something and you might have traffic, if you're on the interstate call, you can see what's coming behind you. Um, yeah. So the ladders was usually a stored up high on the side. Yeah, come over and reach up again. So to prevent injuries, uh, one of the things that we thought would be more, uh, I guess, uh, to benefit of the firefighter is to put a lower. And also, it helps with storage. Uh, they're stored inside. Uh, they're not catching tree limbs and stuff like that. So they're inside, sort of tucked away. But firefighters can just walk up and pull out, and two firefighters can get it and carry it, or however many firefighters need access to it. So for easy deployment, uh, but also it's tucked away, so it won't be uh, catching anything. So it, it prevents a hazard, which is really good. Uh, you'll see the back of the fire truck yeah. will look a little bit different uh, because we want a different look call as far as the Chevron go. Um, with the red and uh, black, uh, which is a little bit different for these here, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, I'll let Chief tell you about the, the top. Yeah, one of the things that we're most excited about is the hard top over the hose bed. Um, we're required to keep that hose bed covered at all times. Well, most of the time you get a, a tarp, um, which our South Mississippi sun eats them up, but regardless of how much you keep them in the station, uh, we got to replace them at a pretty significant cost, about every two to three years. Uh, and it takes a while to turn around. So really the tarp has to come off for them to re and all that. Uh, now it is a walkable surface that you can walk. Plus it, it, it wings up like this. Um, so when our guys are, are reloading the hose, you're gonna have fall protection on both edges. So you don't have anybody, you know, that might just trip up on a stray piece of hose or, or something along those lines and fall out the side of the truck. The only way they can go is either you have guys here that would be able to catch them or towards the pump panel, but there's there's a lot of room up there for them to not really hurt themselves too bad. Yeah, this, this is the light. But anyway, this will prevent firefighters from falling when we actually loading holes in uh, out the fire. Uh, they can maneuver around up here in a safe way, uh, but also uh, it's, it's uh, have lighting where they can see at night really good and it reflect good off the diamond plate but uh, as Chief said earlier it protect the hose uh, in a safe way which is uh, we're excited about that these are adjustable so we can make it wider you know or narrow depends on what the firefighter needs are or what hose deployment needs so we're 
we're excited about this. This is good. So it keeps it sort of dry and also uh, it keeps the sun off. So this is this is something new. First time we're doing this with our engine. So the firefighters should love this. Uh, so they can do it in a safe way. So uh, one other feature that was suggested by uh, some of our senior firefighters uh, and drivers was to add the air horn capability from the pump panel. So while they're pumping the fire, they're seeing the exterior of the structure uh, from an elevated position, in fact, um, and they might have their crew inside. Uh, a lot of times they aren't able to raise that crew inside over, uh, over the radio. So we added a uh, just a, a simple switch to the pump panel to where they will be able to blow, blow the air horn for those crews inside, and we have certain uh, certain signals as far as the duration, the uh, the amount of times blown. And you can communicate through uh, through that nonverbal method. Uh, Station Seven uh, have a brand new engine coming. It's going to be right here in Biloxi Public Schools uh, District. The high school is right here, and we have an engine that's actually geared to them. Chief, you want to explain that? Yes. Um, so instead of putting our typical Biloxi Fire Department insignia, uh, we have uh, partnered with the schools, and we have their Biloxi Indian head on there. You'll be seeing it at every football game, uh, home game, uh, and we are excited to uh, bring it to all the uh, recruitment efforts that we uh, we have planned. So look out seniors, it's coming your way. Uh, get ready, we got a lot of new firefighters out there that's right on the edge, and I believe that this engine is gonna show them what they're look like riding in a brand new engine right here in Biloxi.